Hey everyone, KyleFish64 here, and welcome back to more Oddworld Munch's Odyssey. So, in the last part, we did the Umudakin Pens level. I actually remembered what the name of the last level that I did was, even though I literally just recorded that video. But, yeah, we got Abe and Munch reunited, and we took a journey through a little bit of a naturey area, saved some fuzzles, and found some Mudokins with some crazy mo uh, tomahawks, is basically what they are. So, in this part, we're doing Slog Hut 1027, which, from I, what I remember, is a pretty straightforward level. Also really easy. Well, not I don't. I don't want to jinx myself. Oh! Oh, okay. So we're gonna take Abe and Munch through here, one of the first slog pens, which or slog huts, I guess, where they are keeping mudakins and fuzzles for food for the slogs. Oh, and they said that the they're they're having the mudakins clean up sloggy poo. So that's what we're trying to deal with here. So let's go ahead, see what we can interact with with this. Yeah, we got another crane. And here's what makes this level fun. We have a recycle thing that we can drop enemies into. So this gets really interesting. We, we can have some fun here and pick up these guys. All right, we gotta, there we go. Now we can take them out in a couple of ways. <laughs> This is so morbid. All right, we can put them in the slog little pit. We can also take them and drop them into this, which gets them <laughs> nice and sliced up. Okay. So, <laughs> that guy. But you know what? We really shouldn't feel bad because they're doing this stuff to the Mudakins and the Fuzzles. So it's just a little bit of sweet revenge, I would say. All right. But now what we also got to do is get these guys from down here. But do not drop them into the slog pit. And do not drop them in the shredder. Or else you will have a very sad time. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. All right. Uh... So I think what we got to do there is we got to put Abe up there so he can get that guy. And we also got to get Abe over there. So unfortunately, you have to go out of the crane and then move Abe so that he is right here. Okay, there we go. Now let's have some fun and move Abe around <laughs> so he kind of gets to see what it's like. I think I'm going to leave the slogs alone because they're not hurting anyone. They're just vibing. All right. Yeah, we got to pick this guy up because he was... He couldn't move a little farther away from the cage, apparently. All right. And then we can move Abe up there. Get him going. Okay. So how's everyone's Friday doing? This is hopefully a Friday when this video is coming out, if I'm sticking close to... Or sticking to the schedule that I want to. I'm still... This is still Sunday. The same day that I recorded the past two videos. Can I just... Thank you. So... Not really much has changed, obviously, in the last... <laughs> like, hour and a half since I started recording videos. But... Yeah. It's... I'm really excited for putting these videos out this week. I'm very happy with how this how this playthrough is going so far. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. Like my heart is in it, which I've done playthroughs like in the last couple of years that I just have not enjoyed so much. Oh. Oh no. 
Oh, no. Oh, crap. I know what this is. Okay. So, before we get into the doom and gloom... Alright, we gotta get all these guys down here. Let me finish my thought, my happy thought. But, uh... Yeah, a lot of the playthroughs I've done recently on this channel have not been super great. Or, or no, they've been good. Let me rephrase that. They've been good. But I just... I... I there was not so much passion in them as there could have been, but this playthrough is very differently, or very different, and I've been loving that. So I'm excited to see where this journey goes, and then I'm definitely playing more Oddworld games on this channel because I'm just really into it right now. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this too. I know that I have a lot of people that came to the channel from like my Oddworld Lunch's Odyssey playthrough. So I hope that this is nostalgic and it's just taking people back like it is for me. We're all on this nostalgic journey together. So at least I can hope so. All right, anyway. Oh, so I really, I really do not like this particular Part of what is happening yeah we can only take this so far so what we can do is take care of these guys right here but there's still a whole mess of crap that we have to carry Mudokins through so it gets really gross like really stressful and you I mean we kind of saw what we have to deal with when we were bringing Munch over here. But it is so much worse than that. Alright. So. Ooh, can we get two in one? Oh, hell yeah. Very nice. Alright. So we can put this down. And then we can bring Munch over here. Okay, so we got nine scrubs we gotta bring over. So. And the way that we have to get them over here is so tedious. All right, so just to give you an idea, we're gonna bring, yeah, we're gonna bring Abe over here real quick. So, um, yeah, there, I don't, is there even any spoos? I don't think we've seen any spoos. So we can't even like possess any of these guys. I don't know if we take some of them over there and rescue them but we can't even rescue them until after we've gotten them all over there so because let me show you why we come over here yeah we have to get literally at least we have to get at least six of them over here and then have them work to open up that gate and then we can save them and then we can get some spoofs to possess but that's it i mean otherwise we're running without possession here, so. But here's what's gonna happen. We have to carry these guys, and we're gonna have slig shooting at us, we're gonna have slogs coming after us, we're gonna have mines. And so if Abe gets blown up while he's out there, he's gonna drop the slig. So that's gonna get really sticky, or not the slig, the Mudokin. So the best way to go about this is to carry them like you can try to have them all walk and follow you but you're you're not gonna get very far at all oh shit do i have to get here okay come on my boys come on oh my gosh okay they're just gonna stand there no oh. okay so here's what we got to do. We got to run all of them through here. So we'll just do one from in here first. So we got to get the espresso. We got to grab one of these and then we got to go. And I'm going to quick save because if anything happens, we got to come back. So, okay, we got to go. We're being shot at. Our guy's being shot at. The sligs are running. They're getting blown up. Okay. 
Oh shit. Oh shit, there's the slug. Or the slog. Okay, come on, Abe. We gotta bring him over here. We gotta toss him. We gotta go. Okay. So, there's one. But the thing we gotta contend with is Abe's health. Because if he dies while he's out there, the same thing is gonna happen. He's gonna drop the Mudakin. So, oh, Jesus, I just went right out there. So honestly, the best thing to do is to take this roundabout way of going back. Because otherwise, you're gonna have to take all that damage going out there. So it's even like a good idea to just kill Abe if his health gets low, instead of trying to take him out there with all the guys, but holy shit. This isn't very smart either because we got the espresso going on, but <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so I don't even know if I wanna show all of this because this is gonna take a while. So <laughs> I think we have to call back to the original playthrough. And if you guys, if anyone's watched that and has seen what I did with those speed ups, you know exactly what's about to come and I'm so excited to edit that. But yeah, let me take this Mudokin. We'll get them all over there and then we will come back. So I will meet you guys in just a second. Enjoy the fun, wacky speed up. Here we go. Okay, so we got all nine of these guys over here, and I <laughs> I really hope that you enjoyed that more than I did, because that was like seven minutes of doing the same thing over and over again to really, like, depressing, downy music. 
Like, I don't know. Like, listen to this for a second. Like, that's so sad and drony. Like, <laughs> and that's all I heard for like the last seven minutes. Uh, oh boy. Or, it, oh well. Anyway, let's go ahead and have these guys work. Yeah, get to it. Open this gate for me. And then you can have some freedom. Okay, there we go. Good job. All right. But that is it for this slog hut. I mean, pretty straightforward of a level. You just have to do the run, and that's it. And if you know how to do it, it's pretty much a piece of cake. So, yeah, if we look up there, all nine of our buddies are saved. Our Quorma is bussin'. We're doing good. So, let's see. I don't know if there's going to be a cutscene. So, I guess we'll just have to get on the thing and see. But otherwise, come on, Munch. All right. So, we are just going right into the next level, which is the Mudakin Fortress. So, that is actually going to be where I end the video here. This one will be a bit shorter, but we'll keep it easy going for this Friday. We had a little bit of fun with the editing, so I think that will more than make up for this shorter video. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this, this video. Leave me feedback with whatever editing I do, even if it's just basic and adding some music or whatever. But, ah, no, nah, we'll... <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk to you later but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and sticking to the end of this video i hope you will join me back next time when we take out the mudokin fortress so yeah thank you guys take care and i will see you next time